on this episode of Sea Bums Fishing. Oh, dude, I got a good one. Oh, What's yours yeah. like? Once we came around Seymour Narrows, we, we got around that point there and it was bucking pretty hard. We were starting to we were starting to take some waves. The conditions just changed at snap of the fingers. When you're setting gear in an environment like that, you do have to be really cautious of where you're stepping, how you're moving on the boat. You gotta make sure that you know where your other buddy is. Chaos bro. Dude. This is awful. With the wind and everything too. And there was just a crazy amount of wind that just blasted us from the north. I was in go mode. We're, we're out there, it's Derby Day. Gotta get her done. There is no option but to get her done. I feel like I'm used to luxury fishing now on my boat because I have a cabin, but get back down to the dirty fishing without any cover and you know, you feel like a real fisherman out there. I hate the wind so much. Fuck sakes, man. The biggest challenge, really, was dancing around other boats. Slow me down just a bit. It was kind of a Walmart parking lot out there. And there was quite a few boats, definitely. Some doing things that they probably shouldn't be doing in a boat crisscrossing and getting in front of people when there's quite clear trolling lanes that are happening but you know it happens right how far down you going? I'm on a 63 I'm gonna follow you or go against the net? go like 70 you keep it a 10 foot or 20 foot spread I'm just gonna do a turn here. Alright, you got two down. I'm going second one here. I've fished for various species of salmon and you know I would equate it to like fishing for go but with smaller lures. Rig. Circle hook on that one. Woo! I'm gonna get him. So you're not you're not trolling super fast like you would for coho, but you're using those squirt squids, and it's it's interesting to see that they like the smaller baits. Where you at? I'm at 63. Okay, 72. All right, well, we got four rods out. We got our four rods down, but Jesus Christ, that just took forever. Dealing with the wind, conditions, getting through the narrows, and now, you know, dodging boats left and right, but that's uh, fishing a derby, right? So, just waiting for our first fish. Staggered a little bit, but let's see how this goes. <laughs> it's almost beer time. Takes the edge off, you know? <laughs> whiskey or what? Oh, I should have. Keep us warm. It's chilly right now. Get some chums. The game plan was always there. I think Tyler was pretty keen on, on fishing his spot. He knows where the chum are at what time, and he was really particular with where he wanted to fish. Fishing over just outside of deep water bay, heading towards the wall, and uh, we're looking for our first one. We're looking good now. We've got everything situated. And Hundred eighty feet right now. We're only forty feet off the shore. It's freaking nuts. Is that why they call it the wall? Wow, the wall's actually down there. But yeah. it's a little bit of the wall, so I guess that's why it's deep water bay then. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess you can tell because the mountain itself just goes straight down. Oh, look at all the 
chums up top. 50, 50 to zero. Come up. No, just leave it. Just leave it. Leave it. You're good. Your top rod, don't forget, is at 80. I'm at 80, yeah. And my top rod is 60. Let it fish, he says. We're seeing them feeding on small little bait balls. And if we do find a bait ball around that they are feeding on, we will circle around there and make sure that we try and school in with that bait ball. And that'll help us maximize our chances for hooking up into some chum. Bite's been a smidge slow this morning. Bite's been a smidge <laughs> slow. We've seen two boats catch one fish each. Yeah. And there's about, I don't know, 60 odd boats in our line of sight that are all grinding it out just like we are. Something's gonna bite on the boat. I know where the fish are when the fish are there, and I wanted to be in this particular spot. Our strategy was kind of to fish tight into the rocks for the first little bit. Oh, there's one! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's, he wants to go a little. There he is, there he is. You ready? Bro. I hate losing fish. I don't think he was a monster or anything. I, he no. may have been like an 8 10 pounder. Yeah. Lost that one. That was our one opportunity in the first, you know, three hours of fishing. But it seems like Bite's kind of turning on the guy that was uh, in front of us, too, hooked up at the same time. So we're passing back through and see if we can find another fish. They're fun fish to battle. Yep. That's Get back sure. on it. Slow down just a bit. That's a Billy fish right there. Oh, tangle. Really? Yeah, tangle. Well, I'm on one for sure. Oh, oh, All right, boys, we got one rod tangled in the other. We got a fish on. I got a fish on on my side as well. Fish, buddy. Mine's just sulking. I can hold that other rod. Well, no, you got rod, bro. So I gotta grab this net.
little bit of All right, buddy, I need that net. Oh, dude, I got a good one. Oh, it's yeah. yours, like. Come on. Okay, get him in right now. Okay, watch that rod tip. That's one. Okay, where are we here? Yeah. Okay, I got, I got the net. I, pull him in. No, I got it, I got it. Uh, you can't? Okay, watch my... Okay, hold on. That's a really good fish. Okay, hold on. I might be able to unwrap it, it's not crazy. That was a good tangle. We got her! Yeah! Wow! Double with a tangle, untangle, fing! Holy! This is how the sea bums get her done! Look at the death and destruction on this boat, boys! Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Eight, eight pounds, maybe? Yeah. Oh, that? Maybe nine? Alright, where are we? Ready yet? Keep going. There we go. Right, right there, buddy. Yeah, contender for sure. Yeah, there you go. Nice one. 
Hey. That's a beauty. Nice fish. Woo! Yeah. Bites on. That's a contender. <laughs> Take him though. Day. I know. It was a rough start. Yeah, but now we got six in the box. Isn't that nice? Doesn't Holy feel good? shit, man. Yeah, it does. It feels That's great. a lot of fish. Like, I hope I like chunk. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. Smoke it up. Decent fish, buddy. Oh, did I lose him? No, he's there, he's there. Hey, deal with this rigger over here. are still there. Dude, that was a good one. You hear that peeling? Holy shit. Ah, that was a good fish. I want number eight for that. That was, yeah, that was, a, that was a I know it was. It was peeling, dude. That was a derby winner. I can't believe you lost it.
painful table. That's all right. We're going to go weigh in, see what everyone else did, and uh, we'll let you guys know back in the dock. All right. Tender was only 11 pounds. So we ended our biggest one was a 9.4. So not huge. We lost the Derby winner though today. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. I think 11 pounds is winning it right now, so it's definitely achievable to uh, still win first place tomorrow. Yep. Very. Um, I think I had the Derby winner there. That last one. Yeah. Uh, three uh, ladies are winning the Derby right now. First, second, right. third, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think tomorrow is going to be a really great day. It's going to be a little bit rainy, but no wind in the forecast for tomorrow. Yeah, man, how do you feel? Pretty good. Yeah. I think I'm bummed I lost the fish that I lost, but you know what? It is That's what it is. Fish. I got three on board and lost three, so yeah. I'm, I'm neutral. There you go. So yeah. whatever. And it's definitely still winnable, you know? I mean, oh, yeah. And, uh, we have big opportunities here that we can. We know where they're at. We're going there tomorrow to start and just keep it rolling so we can pull on a couple big ones tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. Let's go home, fucking eat Let's some food and home, chill. Food. We still gotta process a ton of fish. Yeah. Now the real work starts, right? It's, yeah. It's always easy hunting and fishing. That's the easy part. Yeah. Processing your fish. All, all that. The, all the other things, cleaning your boat, boat clean. That's all the stuff that takes a while. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's a beauty chop. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Gorgeous fish. It's getting laid out, so they look like a good shot. It was a little slow this morning, wasn't it? It was a little slow, but look at the turnout. I think it was pretty good, eh? Right.
Last one, brother. Dude, hey, here's to a great day. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs>